In the lightweight hiking community, going stoveless has been on the rise for a while now. You don't need to carry a stove and fuel, which obviously saves weight, and some find the fiddling with fire and hot pots tedious after a long day. And though I love my stove, there are plenty of recipes, especially in the summer, that don't require one. This cold soaked couscous with freeze dried apples, sun dried tomatoes and a lemon basil dressing has a freshness and acidity to it that's often lacking in trail food. All the exact measurements can be found both in metric and imperial units in the description below. Let's get to the preparing. Cold soak the couscous with freeze dried onion for at least 90 minutes in equal parts water and couscous. So in this case just over half a cup of water. I usually start soaking with the last break of the day before setting up camp. With this recipe it's no problem if it soaks for an hour longer, so you don't need to be very precise. Add the diced sun-dried tomatoes, freeze-dried apple and basil. With a lot of herbs the difference between normally dried or freeze-dried isn't that big, but with things like fruit it is. Ordinary dried apple loses all texture and with that a certain crispness that's so important for this salad. The freeze drying process preserves the original consistency of the apple much better. Finally mince a clove of garlic and mix it all together. For the dressing mix the olive oil with lemon juice. and add oregano, salt and pepper. Pour it over the couscous while stirring and dinner is ready. For a salad, I like to use a better quality olive oil like this one that I picked up on my recent trip to Italy. And this can of course work with all ingredients. A salt like Melden has razor thin crystals which will melt on your tongue and deliver a completely different experience compared to our regular table salt. Now how to pack this meal for the trip? The couscous and onion go in a large freezer ziplock together for the cold soaking. The sun-dried tomatoes and freeze-dried apple can be diced at home and go in a smaller ziplock together with the garlic and basil. The dressing can already be mixed at home in a container. Like all my recipes, this one also isn't set in stone. Every trip is different, so adjust it to your needs. If you can't take a clove of garlic for example, because the meal will be in a resupply box as part of a true hike, take freeze-dried. Or on the opposite side, if you're doing a short hike in and out to a nice campsite, Take fresh basil and an onion. As always, thank you for watching and if you like this video, subscribe for more. It has been a while, but it's finally time for a new video in my ultralight backpacking recipe series. Meals with a high energy to ounce ratio that are easy to make with only shelf stable ingredients. But the end result has to be something you can even present to your parents-in-law. Today we are making some serious gourmet mac and cheese, including the amazing crust. The ingredients weigh in at 9.5 ounces and deliver a whopping 1150 calories. We'll start with cold soaking 3.5 ounces of dried macaroni for 90 minutes in a container, for example a freezer bag, with one cup of water. When you are ready for dinner, pour it in your cooking pot and boil for one minute. Set the macaroni aside and with the stove on the lowest heat, pour the olive oil in and add the finely diced clove of garlic. You could also take some freeze-dried garlic instead. After a minute or so, pour 150 milliliters of water in and 
add the milk powder and spices. I'm using a quarter teaspoon of ground mustard for a tangy sharpness. Half a teaspoon of sumac, which is a unique tasting sour spice and is my lightweight alternative for the acid you'd normally get from white wine. It adds some freshness to this otherwise very dense and hefty recipe. A quarter teaspoon of thyme and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. If you can't find sumac, you could replace the sumac and thyme by za'ata, which contains both ingredients but also some others and I personally prefer the simpler taste of just the sumac and thyme for this mac and cheese. Put the macaroni back in the pot and stir 3 quarters of the grated parmesan through. You could also use old cheddar, pecorino or a combination. Now, if you want that beautiful grilled cheese crust, distribute the rest of the cheese evenly over the top and use your stove to quickly grill it. You can even top it off with some beef jerky. There you go. A great tasting self-made mac and cheese that will blow anything pre-packaged straight out of the water. By doing some smart packing this recipe is even easier than it looks. Put the macaroni in a large freezer bag, you can drop the cloth of garlic in with it. The milk powder and spices go in a ziplock together. Put the cheese in a bag of its own and lastly put the olive oil in a small container. As always, thank you for watching and if you like this video, subscribe for more. You are definitely familiar with these, instant noodles. Easy, lightweight and high in calories. But I must say, after a day or three, I'm sick and tired of them. They all taste the same, like salt and flavor and answer. So why not prepare them yourself? Just as easy to make on the trail and you can get way more variation, real flavors and an even higher calorie count per ounce. Now, how do you go about it? Basically, I make a combination out of four categories. The first is your noodle time. For example, wheat noodles, rice mihun or egg meal. Then you choose your stock. I've got red, orange and green curry here. Chicken and vegetable cubes and garden herbs powder. I add a bit of olive oil to all of them. The curries are great to combine with coconut cream, while I might add soy sauce to the stock cubes and powders. Next up is something for extra flavor and structure, I'll call a filler, like dried mushrooms, some dried tomatoes, or a dried vegetable mix like this one with onions, cabbage, bell peppers and carrots. And to finish, I like to choose a topping. I've got chili flakes here, fried onions and freeze-dried parsley. So for today I will pick rice meal. The stock will be 1 tablespoon of green curry with 1.75 ounces of coconut cream. I'll add 0.5 ounce of sun-dried tomatoes and a topping that consists of 1 teaspoon of freeze-dried parsley. The noodles will go in a larger Ziploc bag with the filler. Put the stock in a smaller bag and if you don't trust the Ziploc, you can burn it shut. Put the topping in another small bag and you're done. When you're ready for lunch, bring 10 ounces of water to the bowl. Add the bag with noodles and stock. Wait for three minutes.
and finish it off with the topping. Now, that is a much better lunch. And with 131 and a half calories per ounce, very suitable for ultra light backpacking. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, subscribe for more.